I use this a lot when I train and I do coaching because it's so easy, especially in businesses and in anything, our families, wherever, because we can say, well, we want things to be this way, unless you, like you said, Lee, but it doesn't happen without someone actually starting to do it. So I, I you know, the best one in the world, you can have brilliant businesses, brilliant companies, but there's always going to be that negativity. And I always say to people, if you see that, you've got to be the person that steps up and just does, does the thing what you want to see. If you're, if you're saying, oh, we're not very positive here, well, be positive. Oh, we're not really helpful. Well, be helpful. Like, so it just perpetuates. And, you, and it's the hardest thing in the world to do because, like Lee said, you're going to get a ton of resistance, especially if neg there's no negativity. If negativity is grabbed hold. It's one of the hardest things to swim against negativity because negativity is really powerful. And I don't know whether I referenced this before, but I read a HBR article that it was feedback, but it's a little bit similar perspective. It takes... Like, um, if you get um, so like two pieces of negative feedback, you need six or seven pieces of positive feedback to negate the two pieces of negative. So negativity is much more, is stronger. That's why we really have to make a conservative effort to really do the change. Um, and also, I think you also mentioned, Lee, um, about negativity, that it's our natural, it might have been you or me, I can't remember now, the blurs, but negative is our natural state. It's like, you know, our brain just goes to negative. If you think of a challenge, you always go, oh, what's the, you know, it's almost like um, Chicken Little, isn't it? The sky's falling in. And I, and I still feel that. When there's something that happens that hits me really hard, I think, oh, it's never going to work. That's my initial brain, and I have to be aware that that's happening. Go, right, okay, I understand, but what's the reality? How bad is this really? And what can I do? And as we reference all the time, what's in my control that I can actually do? And the most thing in your control is you and your behavior and your attitude to whatever the thing is, and that is being the change. So if you're in a company right now, or in a business, or if you're in a team, or if you're at work and you hate the atmosphere, you have to be that start of the change. It won't happen. Even if um, you see other companies says, I want to have a positive culture, sets out a load of values, if you agree, you know, things you've got to agree and have a purpose behind them, but that's never going to happen without everybody towing the line. But someone's got to toe the line, someone's got to start the, the ball rolling. Or because a, a CEO or a leader says it's going to happen, it won't happen unless that leader's going to do it for sure. It doesn't happen unless anybody, everybody else starts to try to do it. Now, if you don't agree with it, that's different. But why don't you agree? What's the reason? How can you change that? What can you start to change? What can you start to influence? What's the reason? What's the fix? Let's start making a difference. Let's start making a difference everywhere, every, everywhere we are. And by listening to this and taking a small action, just a small step, even if it's, you know, just speaking to a colleague, hey, look, you know, how are you going? You know, I know, you, you know, I heard you in that, and you made me feel a little bit negative. But what's going on there? Finding out what's going on, what's driving these things, and let's see if we can really help people make those shifts so we can all live in a better world. I do understand we're never going to live in a utopia. I understand that. I get it. But let's start making these changes and do them ourselves. I think, you know, this is one of the biggest things, you can, one of the biggest changes you ever do is by you stepping into the breach you being the warrior stepping into the into the gladiatorial arena of me, of going first go first to see what happens um, it's brave it's difficult um, but it's really rewarding if you can stick at it it's not easy though 